Next up, XX Discord Boy 6969XXX. Oh, God. Beat battle um, breakdown. Yeah, um, my submission was uh, the one like XXX Discord boy. Uh, we'll leave that. Um, I'm trying to keep production. This is the beat. Uh, yeah, um, three main sections basically. Um, so the first one's meant to be like a sloppy kind of groove thing or whatever. <laughs> Um, and then there's a section where I sort of open up. And then, yeah, that's the form. Um, cool. Uh, I'll sort of do it bit by bit. So, first thing, let's look at this sort of sloppy groove section or whatever. I'm going to call it. Um, right. First thing, I started with this um, acoustic hi hat from. I just searched in live hi hats on our drum kits, and this is sort of the top result. Um, it was this really short hi hat loop we have here. Um, yeah, so I had to sort of chop it to not make it super repetitive. So yeah, I, I sort of put on top of that some foley stuff from the Monte kit. Because, you know, it's good. Um, it's impact. A little shaker. Um, which is kind of super behind beat. Or not that behind beat. It's kind of behind beat. Um, just give it a bit more, a bit more of a groove, or whatever. Um, put on top of it the bird noises. My thinking with these was sort of, um, I didn't want to like quantize them super hard or like mess with the, um, the, yeah, the positioning of each sort of like chirp or whatever. Um, I kept it pretty, pretty much as is. I just sped it up a fair bit and pitched it up. Um, I chopped up at the end. Yeah, so it was meant to be very, very loose and sort of just like creating sort of interesting groove um, as opposed to, yeah, being kind of boring and like quantized to 16 notes or something like that. Um, a crucial part of making that sound decent though was sort of like heavy side turning into the kit. Um, with all sort of perk stuff, it, it always sounds cool if you side chain to a kick and let it like duck super hard or whatever. Um, snare stuff, this is little actually rims um, from some kit off our drum kits. Um, it was cool, like, yeah, I don't know why I call it that. Um, it was cool, like the Mick Jenkins Azire Shard kit. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember the name, but the sounds are kind of good. Um, two rims. Crucial thing to do here is, yeah, like little um, flam on them or whatever. Don't play them at the same time, basically, and use two. It just sounds a lot more interesting. Um, yeah. So that's the sort of percussive stuff for this section. Um, first melodic thing would be the chords I laid down. Um, pretty basic chords, just minor nines. Um, you can see them, you can steal them, whatever. Um, left them in like reposition, which is super enemy I shouldn't have done that to be honest but I was like type of time um yeah I used lounge lounge lizard um session this is like 10 quid it's kind of cheap um these presets you can steal them or whatever um yeah I don't know what this really means but luckily sounds cool um tremolo always sounds cool and yeah turn the reverb off um 
But of course, I put on my own reverb. Um, I basically sort of took this from one of those Matt Johnson um, videos. It's really useful. Um, really useful for anything. Sort of synthy, electric piano-y. Um, yeah, so some Valhalla Vintage Verb. Some, um, yeah, Trash 2, Saturation. Uh, he didn't say to use OZ2, but I did. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I wanted it to be a bit brighter, I wanted it to sit higher, sort of not clash with the bass as much, and I want some compression, so like, that's kind of what I use OTT for. Uh, this is the bass line, I also have OTT on the bass. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I played this. Um, this is the Scarby Rickenbacker um, contact bass. Uh, yeah. I mean, just make it sound cool. Um, put some compression on it. Put some bass talk preset on RC20, magnitude way down, and sort of try and make it a bit more mono. Um, yeah, a bit of OCT, like a very small bit of like, uh, depth of 4%, um, just to give it a bit more brightness. Like, it just helps it really pop in the mix. And if you're trying to make something that's sort of driven by the bass, it can help, like, yeah. Um, one thing I really liked in the bass was this sort of section where um, I layered this little part of the bass line with another version which was pitched up seven semitones, um, like a circle of fifths or some, some shit like that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it sounds cool, I like it. Um, Next section, um, first thing I did, take out a lot of the drums, um, all that furly, all those hi-hats were gone for a bit, um, put in a new layer of furly from the sample, just for texture really, I mean I didn't think this would be too noticeable, but um, it just gives it a bit of like an atmosphere I guess. Um, same chords as before, a uh, different bass line though, um, yeah the idea with this was to be sort of less... Um, with it, I don't know, but I didn't want the baseline to completely go because then it can sort of lose too much energy. But yeah, so that, that's what I, did, what I did with that, I guess. Um, a new layer of sort of a, a lead melody on the left piano. Yeah, am I thinking with that was sort of just. Um, Basically, we're now ready to lead for electric piano. It's like a pentatonic scale thing. Um, so I just sort of do that. Some sort of ghost notes. Um, you've got to do some notes out of scale too, like little ghost notes out of scale. And it always sounds kind of cool, basically. Um, so yeah, I did that. Um, yeah, I added these. Um, when I sort of like flick the keyboard or whatever. Um, I did it with the electric piano. I did it with the, I did it with a harp. Which is kind of a bit much, to be honest, but um, I think, yeah, in a beat battle, it's not really, I guess subtlety isn't like, uh, there's no, there's not much place for subtlety. Um, after that, some strings, these are from the BBC Symphony Orchestra um, Spitfire Labs pack. Strong recommend on these, it's free, you need to sign up though. Might take like two weeks or something, but like, two weeks, you've got two weeks, come on. Um, yeah, so my electric guitar, I used, I don't, I can't play the guitar, um, I used Ample Sounds um, semi-hollow guitar for these. Yeah, and um, I ran it through actually the Cory One plugin, um, New Audio SP one. Um, I can't remember the presets, but it was basically, I copied it off something Kenny was doing on um, a stream. Um, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's not huge, hugely processed, to be honest. Um, bit of Valhalla on those. And then also, yeah, crucial thing I did for that was um, laying it with a version of it, Pitch Down 5. Um, sort of like a fake harmonizer, but maybe it is a harmonizer. I don't really know. Either way, it sounds all right. Um, yeah, layer that with 
vocal sample I got off Splice, chopped a little bit. So I did this little like four count thing again, which is kind of dead. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I felt like I needed the bigger pause maybe between those sections to make you sort of stop to think for a sec or like be like, what? <laughs> and then it would come in with like the four on the floor beat, which would um, sort of have a bit more impact. But yeah, oh well. Um, four on the floor beat, yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't tend to make much four on the floor stuff. Like I only ever really did it for the beat battle. Um, but yeah, change up the hi-hat rhythm a bit. Obviously changed up the kick pattern. Um, took out the rims. Changed up these claps from the Monty kit. Yeah. Um, same bird samples as before. Um, shaker, same as before. Crash, same as before. Um, same chords. Yeah, what I also did is I changed out the bass. I also changed out the bass line to um that um and then yeah, so we kind of all the end of the song because I was running out of time. I call that the chunk bird. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It's a beat. Um, yeah, mastering wise, I don't know how to master, basically, I don't know how to master, um, yeah, there's, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of compression, some of them are too, I don't know, my mix was super loud, at least, because I think Kenny had to turn it down, like, immediately when it started playing, so I'm proud of that. Cool, um, that was my beat breakdown, um, I hope someone learned something, I mean, looking back at the footage, it's gonna be tough, um, but yeah, I hope maybe maybe someone that's something. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or anything, please put them in the comments. I mean, everything I sort of use in this beat battle is stuff I've stolen from people who put their beat breakdowns up and people off the Discord and stuff like that. So um, I'm more than happy. Like, if anyone wants any anything that I use in here, anything, any like plugins, any presets, anything, anything like that, I'm I'm happy to sort of help out. Um, yeah, um, big thank you to everyone who sort of made this possible. The whole Dots team, Kenny, I mean, the whole Discord team, everyone, everyone on Discord who's, you know, I've learned so much from. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, my Instagram is Charger Production. I'll put on the screen or something, I guess. Um, if you want to follow it, go for it. But like, cool. Um, yeah, perfect. All right. Take care, then.